Hey, what is going on guys? So I have a Windows 10 computer here, laptop this is an old laptop and there's an issue with this. You can see for instance, when I log into this individual's, uh, when I log into the account, you can see the mouse here on the uh, desktop here. But when I go down here, I usually get this uh, round uh, mouse thing, like it's trying to like load something and I can't do nothing on here. Even if I go into the desktop here and I right click I mean, I can get like a menu and stuff like that, but I can't do nothing in here. It doesn't even it doesn't even go down to display. Okay, so what I can do, I mean, I can do like a Control Alt Delete on the keyboard, and it doesn't matter what I do here. If I even go into Task Manager, it's not going to bring up the Task Manager. Okay, now also, if I log into his other account, and I'll show you what happens. Okay, so I'm trying to log into his other account, his admin account right now. And now the only thing is, is what is wrong with this computer here? He, uh, my friend doesn't know exactly what happened, but probably it, probably it was an automatic update that did all this issues. And again, this is an old computer here. I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, computer up and running. And basically, I, I'm gonna try to get this up as fast as possible. And what I want to basically tell him is, uh, I'll get it up and then go ahead and back up everything and just buy a new laptop because this is a really old laptop here. And something like this is probably going to happen again. Now, I could go ahead and reformat the entire computer and put the new Windows 10 on here and make it like fresh. But again, this is a really old computer. He just needs to get a new computer. So let's go ahead and get this computer back up so that he can at least transfer all of his uh, videos and photos and stuff like that onto an external hard drive. Then he can get another laptop and move all the photos and videos onto the new laptop. Okay, so this right here is not booting up or nothing, and I just have a mouse here with a black screen here. Okay, no problem. Again, this is a Windows 10 machine here. Now, what we're going to do is, let me try to do a Control-Alt-Delete. Control-Alt-Delete. Okay, perfect. Okay, so this is what we're going to do here. So what we're going to do here is get it into the boot menu. This way we have a bunch of options. We can go to the previous uh, version before the update. If he has a restore point on here, we can a previous restore point, we can go back there. We can even do something with the command, command prompt. There's a lot of things that we can do. So first thing we, we got to do is get this computer into uh, the boot menu. Okay, so again, it's a Windows 10 laptop. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to control alt delete All right, control alt delete on the keyboard. And I get this menu popped up right here. And now what I want to do is I basically want to go ahead and do a, uh, a restart here. And I want to boot into the menu. And how I'm going to do that is first... Let me go ahead and click down here. Okay, so here's the uh, power button. Now here's the restart button. Now what you have to do also is, you see the shift key right here? I'm gonna press, I'm gonna hold this down, and then I'm gonna go ahead and click on restart right here. It's on restart right now. Go ahead and click it, and I'm gonna hold down this, uh, well, let me restart anyway. I'm gonna hold down the shift key, I'm gonna continue to hold, and hopefully we get into the boot menu here. So give this a little while. All right, we are in. So choose, choose an option here. Uh, we can continue to uh, Windows 10, which we don't want to do, or we can troubleshoot. Okay, we can reset your PC to see advanced options. So we're going to go down over here now. So go ahead and click on that. Okay, so from here, I mean, we can reset this PC, and it says here, lets you choose to keep or remove your personal files and then reinstalls Windows. Now we can do that, but you know, this computer is, this laptop is old. He needs to get into the laptop because he's going to end up bringing this here again another like four or five months. Everything is super slow on here. And it, it's just not worth uh, formatting it, putting a clean install Windows on here because he just needs to get a new computer, okay? this, Anyways, um, this is an option that you guys can look into later as well if you want to do that, if this other options don't work. So anyways, we're going to go into advanced options here. Okay, from here we can do a uninstall updates, which we probably need to do. We can also um, system image recovery, recover windows from using a specific image system image file, which we don't have. We can also try this up here, start up repair. It says fix problems that keep windows from loading. Yes, we have that issue. We can try that. We can also do a command prompt and we can also try startup settings, change windows startup behavior. Now, what do we want to do with this? The thing is I want to get this up and running ASAP so he can go ahead and save all his videos and, and um, personal files and documents and he needs to get a new computer. So I think that this issue happened because of a automatic update. He doesn't know, but I'm pretty sure that's the issue. So I'm going to go ahead and click on here, uninstall updates, remove recently installed quality or future updates from Windows. Okay, let me just click on that.
Okay, so we're gonna uninstall latest feature update. Let me get the password here. And I'm gonna click on continue. Uninstall latest feature update. If you are running into problems since installing the latest feature update, uninstalling might fix might fix them. This won't affect your personal files, but you'll lose any changes you made to apps and settings since you since the most recent update. That's perfectly fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and uninstall feature update. Let's click on that. Get ready to uninstall the latest feature update of Windows. Okay, it's so restarting now. Restoring your previous version of Windows. 20 minutes, it's still on the screen here. It says restoring your previous version of Windows. So I'm gonna let this run right now. I'm just gonna to go to lunch and I'll come back. All right, I'm back from lunch. Looks like we uh, booted up here. So let me go ahead and log in to one of his accounts here and pop in his password. Come on, let's get in. All right, guys, take a look at this. We are in business. It's just still slowly booting up here, but we have icons. We have something on the desk here. All right, so let me go into his regular, regular account here. All right, so we are back in business, guys. Uh, let me just go ahead. I mean, these icons here on the left weren't uh, showing up before. I don't want to show you his screensaver or his uh, his background for privacy issues, but we'll go ahead and open up uh, Chrome here and make sure that it opens. But this computer is really slow. He does need to just get a new laptop. So it gives us a second to load on Chrome, and I'll show you that the app actually, uh, op the program actually opens up. Okay, well, it's obviously that it's opening up right now, but there's no uh, internet connection here in the office. So anyways, that should help you guys out. Give me a thumbs up if this video helped you out. If it didn't, give me a thumbs down. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.